Today we're going to talk about acids. Acids in skincare and your skincare routine and the various forms of acids that you should be using every day. Hi, I'm Manuela Marcajani from Eisenberg Skin Care, and today we're going to talk about acids. Acids are very popular in skin care, and you hear a lot about acids. What happens the very first time you hear acid? What do you think? I know what you're thinking, because this is what I think, and I'm a cosmetic chemist. I think exfoliating acids. I think AHAs, glycolic acid, lactic acid, malic acid, or I think BHAs, beta hydroxy acid, salicylic acid. But there's more to acids than just these two, or the just exfoliating acids. There are moisturizing acids, there's antioxidant acids, and then of course there are the exfoliating acids. So we're going to walk through all of those today and how to use them in skincare. Let's begin by talking about the BHAs and the AHAs of the world, or let's talk about the exfoliating acids. And acids actually, when you think about the skincare, that what the acid does actually explains when to use it as well. So let's keep an open mind while we walk through the acid story. Alpha hydroxy acids are um, exfoliating acids. They are water soluble. They really help with cell turnover. Very popular alpha hydroxy acids are glycolic acid, lactic acid, which did you know that you find lactic acid within your own skin naturally? And also then there's malic acid. These are water soluble. You can use them daytime or nighttime. They really are not that um, harsh on your skin. Your skin does build up a tolerance to them and they're very important for cell turnover. They're very important for sunburn. They're very important for that kind. So we have like, for example, our glycolic acid drops. This is glycolic acid, it's an AHA. Next are beta hydroxy acids. Those are the BHAs. The most popular beta hydroxy acid is salicylic acid. We have salicylic acid in this lotion here. Um, we utilize it a lot for acne. Salicylic acid is fat soluble. So alpha hydroxy acid is water soluble. Salicylic acid is fat soluble. Why is that important? This is important because the BHA, the salicylic acid, the beta hydroxy acid, remember they're all the same thing, has the ability, so AHA go on the skin surface, the BHA does the skin surface, but inside the pore. Think about butter in a frying pan. You know, if you have a hot frying pan and you put butter, that's a fat. See what happens when you put it under heat, it just liquefies. That's what beta hydroxy acid does to the sebum stuck inside your pores. That's why beta hydroxy acids are amazing on acne, amazing on blackheads, really good for refining the skin. But think about this as well, because it is a very aggressive beta hydroxy acid, it is more of a nighttime treatment. I don't want you to utilize it in the daytime because if you use it in the daytime and then you're out in the sun, you know, you've got this a lot of sun sensitivity. So beta hydroxy acids, part of the exfoliating peeling acids, nighttime. And also with beta hydroxy acids, if they're formulated over 2%, they're considered a drug. So they're very aggressive. So know your acids, know your alphas and your betas, your glycolic, your salicylic, and how you're gonna use it. We're gonna actually link some more information for you onto this video. So you'll be able to have a quick reference guide, but you can always ask some questions. We'll always give you that information. So that was the alpha and beta hydroxy acids. Now we're gonna move on to the next acids. The next group of acids that I wanna talk about are what we call moisturizing acids. That is your hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronate, multimolecular hyaluronate, sodium hyaluronate, you hear it over and over and over again. Everybody wants hyaluronate on their skin and it is an acid. That is why it's called hyaluronic acid. The acid is actually refers to the pH of the product. This is an acid, not like alpha and beta hydroxy. 
your hyaluronic acid is your moisturizer. So that is a moisturizing acid. Because it's a moisturizing acid and it binds to your skin and it brings in moisturization along with other benefits, skin smoothing, skin softening, it's amazing for dry skin, combination skin, but it is the moisturizer of choice for your skin. That one can be used daytime and nighttime. Remember, the type of acid actually actually helps to tell you when to use it most effectively as well. After our moisturizing or hyaluronic acids, we're gonna move on to our antioxidant acids. The final type of acid I wanna to talk to you about in this video is your vitamin C or ferulic acid. Those are actually antioxidant acids. So think about this. We've really expanded the acid world for you right now. We went from exfoliating acids to hydrating acids, to antioxidant acids. So think about this, your antioxidants, you've got vitamin C, amazing antioxidant, everybody should be utilizing it, skin brightening, uh, helps with the collagen, really good for acne and pigmentation. Then you have ferulic acid, it also helps boost vitamin C, helps heal the skin, gives it a lot of antioxidant properties. These things are important for your skin, they're also acids. But because they're antioxidant acids, you think about it, you want them in the daytime on your skin. You want them in the nighttime to be doing the work. So this is really great to understand your acids, helps understand when to utilize them. Now we're gonna talk about how to use your acids in your skincare routine. I'm gonna really try to make it very simple. I'm gonna to try to create a picture or a rule of thumb for you. Think about it this way. We've talked about three different kinds of acids. We've talked about moisturizing acids, which are your uh, um, hyaluronic acids, for example. We've talked about antioxidant acids, which are the vitamin C and the ferulic acid. And then we've talked about exfoliating acids, which are your AHAs, your BHAs, your glycolic, your salicylic acid. So, I want you to think about your exfoliating acids as a nighttime treatment, either nighttime, every night, or every other night. And that is going to really depend on how sensitive your skin is. So understand, for me, my advice is always to use your, especially your salicylic or your combined acids at nighttime if they are exfoliating acids. Your moisture acids, your antioxidant acids, you can use daytime and nighttime. Usually what I like to say is vitamin C, you have it in the morning, like your orange juice, you're gonna have it in the morning, that's your vitamin C. What I like to do in the morning is I like to mix a couple of drops of my vitamin C and a couple of drops of my hyaluronate, either my multi-molecular weight hyaluronate or the H-Pure. You mix them together and you apply it onto your skin. This is going to give me my antioxidants and my moisturization. That's your daytime routine. Put your sunscreen over top, put your makeup over top, voila. Nighttime, here's a trick. Nighttime routine. Start with your acids first. Now, I don't like to mix my acid with my other serums. Why? Because I'm gonna give you a little skin hack. You wanna change the pH of your skin. If your skin is more acidic, when you make the pH go lower, that's actually gonna have a better moisturizing effect with your other acids. It's gonna help your other acids. So what I do, my glycolic drops or my uh, retiniacin on first. I leave it about a minute. Leave it in for about a minute. Now, when I put my vitamin C on, the pH of my skin is lower, which means my vitamin C can actually act quicker into the skin. So I put that on, and then if I need to really boost it, add a couple of drops, get another drop of that, of my hyaluronate, there's my moisturizer. And this could be how I use my acids, daytime and nighttime. I want my acids to exfoliate, 
to change the cells, to do all that corrective work at nighttime. Because in the daytime, I'm gonna use my antioxidants and I'm going to moisturize and I'm gonna protect with sunscreen. I've hoped you enjoyed this uh, acid lesson, how to use the acids, the different worlds of acids, and how these acids are very important in your everyday skincare routine.